what is nuclear science all about let's start where it starts so we'll have to talk about history so it all started with e is equal to mc square 1905 where einstein published a paper which was talking about e is equal to mc square so what it actually says is mass and energy are interconvertible and it's convertible by a factor of a square of velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and nobody really did anything practical with it now obviously there were people like Marie Curie who studied about radioactivity and there were a bunch of <laughs> bunch of it is not safe to say numb nuts because they're pretty smart they were scientists but there were quite some people who started carrying radioactive stuff in their pocket and eventually faced the consequences so obviously now we are smart enough to not do that but yeah from 1905 to 1945 nothing significant visually happened in terms of nuclear science and engineering so there were there were rumors though that the germans have found out how to make and make a bomb from atomic energy and it all started because otto Hahn was working on the same topic and somewhere close to 1938 he had discovered the atom splitting so if you look at the proper the most basic reaction of how an atom splits it goes like this i'm going to put on the screen as well but it basically goes like this u-235 is going to be bombarded with one neutron and as a result you are going to get barium with atomic number 56 and atomic mass 141 and krypton with atomic number 36 and atomic mass 92. This is what they were seeing. This is what they were observing. That you bombard neutron into a U U-235 and you are going to get barium and krypton. But they were super confused that what's actually going on. But in 1939, they understood it properly. And they understood it with a woman named Lisa Meitner. Now Lisa Meitner was working in Germany with Otto Hahn close to 1930s but then Hitler went crazy he said that all Jews must be sent to the concentration camp some of them might die a lot of them actually died so Lisa Meitner being a smart woman she is found out pretty soon that it's time to bounce so she, she went to Netherlands and uh, there she used to communicate with Otto Hahn on the basis of mails not gmail actually written mails not pigeons too but proper males you get the point so Otto Hahn was confused like Lisa what's actually going on over here when I put neutron on uranium it should get heavier how the hell am I getting two lighter atoms that is barium, barium and krypton and in some of these exchanges what she mentioned is maybe what you're actually getting is U-236 and then U-236 being so unstable actually splits into two that is barium and krypton and then Otto Hahn must have said oh yeah that makes super duper sense because when we match the atomic number and atomic mass this is what we are getting but what about loss of three atomic numbers and that was the three neutrons that were produced might have gone that way might not have but this is the whole point when you're seeing when you bombard neutron into a uranium 235 and you get barium and krypton uh, what is actually happening is u-235 turning into u-236 which is very unstable splits and then you get barium and krypton and three neutrons now these three neutrons my friends are extremely dangerous or very helpful depends on how you look at it depends on how you use it these three neutrons now will go ahead and hit another u-235 uh, atom or three other atoms which is again going to create three more neutrons which is again going to hit three more u-235s you get the point it is creating a chain reaction and that makes atomic energy so devastating or so humongous so now why why is this the splitting can you just hit let us say sodium and will it split well it won't because it is not that unstable you need heavy atoms so that it splits heavy atoms are unstable you put neutron it becomes so unstable that it is going to split 
so this is the whole thing is called nuclear fission there's something else called nuclear fusion which is going on in sun right now where two lighter atoms combine to create a heavier atom and then more importantly create a large amount of energy now where does e is equal to mc square comes over here now the loss of mass is present in these reactions and this loss of mass is not going to go anywhere this loss of mass is going to be converted into energy but when you look at the reaction what you see is uh let us see 235 plus 1 okay 236 on the right hand side i see 141 plus 92 plus 3 so i get 236 on the right hand side as well so ashish there is no deficit of mass how is there a creation of energy because of conversion of mass you see the mass difference is not going to be that humongous it is always in some fractions but when you look at what it is multiplied with that is square of speed of light it is significant it is super significant and that energy is the nuclear energy and that is because of the atomic bonds so it is a little bit complicated but some energy is involved which now is going to be present and that energy in the simplest term if you think about it always something and when that bond is no longer over there that is going to explode in the form of an energy this is the simple formula or simple basis of nuclear fission now all of this happened in 1939 obviously spies are everywhere different countries are putting spies in different countries obviously uk must have had their spies in germany us must have had their own so everybody knows what's going on so america now is terrified man now we look at nuclear energy and think about hey nuclear submarines okay nuclear propulsion oh nuclear power nuclear reactors and they think at that time in 1939 atom bomb can be dropped on pennsylvania and we all might die so america started their own project called project manhattan 1942 they first went to albert einstein himself the sir we need you you were the one who found it and let's make you the project director and you might run a project the end goal over here is to create an atom bomb and albert einstein said i want nothing to do with that that's what he said i do not want any part of this <laughs> so he he personally believed that it is wrong to create bomb using this technology and he was the father of it all so he must also be knowing that it is very uncontrollable and we found it multiple times three mile island chernobyl we found it in fukushima and definitely we found it in hiroshima and nagasaki so it creates thousands and thousands of people and uh, sometimes it gets uncontrollable so it was right for einstein to be paranoid so he said no and since he was in democratic country he could have said no if you were not oh no that means that you don't want to do it willingly but you know that you have to do it <laughs> so <laughs> albert einstein was in a democratic country so he said no and he walked out and then the project director was oppenheimer he was the one who quoted bhagavad gita when it was exploded in trinity desert a desert what was that quote that he said i'm going to actually put the actual video because those kind of videos should be a public property so let try to remember it i am the god the destruction of all something like that okay so here you, here it goes listen to exactly what oppenheimer said we knew the world would not be the same few people laughed few people cried most people were silent i remembered the line from the hindu scripture the bhagavad gita vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says now i am become death the destroyer of worlds i suppose we all thought that one way or another so he was terrified that the chain reaction 
might not ever end and uh, he said to the military team that hey I, i don't really know that we should i think that we should not drop it and the military said no longer in your hands son probably probably what eisenhower said no longer in your hands son it's mine uh so if you look at the proper history franklin d roosevelt was the president of united states uh through the entire war the major part of it but before the war ended he died he passed away actually if you look at it he always had health issues to the point that he wasn't able to walk properly even when he was in the office but he tried his best to hide it you can't look weak look at putin man you will see him in judo classes you would see him riding horses all to show that our leader or our president is fine is going to be fine for a long time all right but anyways uh, franklin fdr passed away in the middle of the war and comes harry truman in the office and legend goes that he was having no idea even being the vice president he was having no idea that we have project manhattan going on it was a highly secretive project for obvious reasons this is what they say that harry truman had no idea and if you look at the situation of war at this point so even the test i will put the proper date over here but the test was after hitler committed suicide and the whole whole idea of project manhattan was to i'm going to drop this on berlin so that we end the war right away even though the japanese attacked the pearl harbor america always had europe first principle for them the war in europe was much more important than war in pacific because europe is such a crossroad of this world it has always been the most important part i've discussed this in the last one so so after they had the ve day that is victory in europe day only then they started really pushing into japan so the whole idea was of project manhattan was that they are going to win the war in germany or win the war in europe with this atom bomb or in the worst case scenario if germany develops it first we are going to have a face off just like we had in cuban missile crisis so that none of us actually deploys it so hitler committed suicide april 38 1945 and then what are you going to do with it?